It's after this uh, speech that we get Prince Hamlet alone on stage for the first time speaking a soliloquy, uh, and, and of many soliloquies, the, the role of Prince Hamlet, of course, is very demanding. Uh, he has a wide range of affect. He is smart. He is physical. He is sarcastic. Uh, he is charming. He is irritating. Um, uh, so many different things involved in this character. But his first soliloquy is, is one of almost pure depression. Uh, oh, that this too, too sullied flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew, or that the everlasting had not forced his convict cannon against self-slaughter. Oh, God, God, how weary, stale, flat, and unprofitable seem to me all the uses of this world, fine and fi. Tis an unweeded garden that grows to seed, things rank and gross in nature possess it merely, that it should come to this, and what it's come to is that his uncle has married his mother after a very short time after the um, uh, death of his father. Uh, Hamlet is incredibly depressed here and, and incredibly world weary. Oh, that this too, too sullied flesh would melt. Uh, that is, at the moment, he probably really doesn't even have the energy to ponder suicide. He just wants everything to go away. Um, He's very close to what modern um, uh, mental health professionals would call, you know, sort of clinical depression, that point where uh, he's just not able to sort of get out of bed. Now, that's going to change very quickly, but this is this is where he's at. Um, he says, uh, two months dead, nay, not so much, not two, so excellent a king that was to this Hyperion to a sadder so loving to my mother that he might not beteem the winds. Uh, heaven and earth must I remember. And what he does in this first long soliloquy then is going along speech about the fantastic difference between his father, King Hamlet, and King Hamlet's brother, um, uh, Claudius, his uncle. And of course, later on, you know, Hamlet's going to hold up in front of uh, Gertrude uh, pictures, right? Pictures of these two brothers. Uh, you know, uh, look at these guys. How can you choose one over the other? They're so very, very different. The dramatic irony there, of course, is that these are both brothers, they're probably not that different. Uh, think back to the comedy of errors. Think back to Midsummer Night's Dream. And the way in which we habitually exaggerate or amplify differences, you know, as our sort of sense of individuality grows, when in fact we are much more alike than we would like to think. You know, you've all had this experience. I, I hope not too many times in junior high or high school, you know, your first breakup, think back to that moment. And when, when the person who broke up with you or you broke up with them started dating someone else, and you say, what? How can you go out with him? How can you go out with her? Can't you see the difference between me? Now, of course, at that age, when you're 14, 15, whatever that is, uh, you can see infinite differences between um, uh, partners. But an outside audience looking in, well, you all pre look pretty much alike, right? Uh, but Prince Hamlet here, again, sees this incredible difference between his father, King Hamlet, and his uncle, Claudius. The issue with that, of course, is it doesn't seem like that many other people in the play see that difference, right, quite the same way. Certainly Gertrude doesn't, right? Gertrude doesn't see a profound difference between the brothers. Uh, the rest of the society that allowed Claudius to become king instead of Prince Hamlet didn't see that difference. The only one who maybe sides with um, Prince Hamlet is Horatio, but even he is fairly neutral. In other words, in this case, it might be Prince Hamlet who sees his father as this grand, distinctive figure, so much different from his brother Claudius, right? He says, uh, Would they more longer married with my uncle, my father's brother, but no more like my father than I to Hercules? Hercules, of course, is a, a painted figure on the stage that the, the, the actor playing Hamlet is uh, gesturing to there. And, of course, again, there's more dramatic irony, which is, you know, I'm part of the stagecraft, and so is that drawing of Hercules. You know, we're alike. And so may be Claudius and King Hamlet, right? Uh, the whole play is about, you know, the, these enormous differences that we see between ourselves as individuals and the rest of the people around us.